another unscheduled thrift stop today. I recently uploaded how to thrift with a vintage expert and a lot of you wrote in and said that you would be very interested in my process when I look at jewelry in the thrift stores, which makes perfect sense because if you've been around a while, then you know that I talk a lot about vintage jewelry and vintage style and I'm a vintage jewelry expert. So today, I am going to make an unscheduled thrift stop. I thought it would be fun to just go to a couple of the thrift stores near me and take you through how I look at the jewelry. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see how we do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click like, subscribe, ring the bell. Can I say something here? Sure. The uh, pin tray. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. No, no, the one on top of it. Sorry. Oh, the one on top of it. This one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so I got this, which I love, and I feel like I'm going to be using it on necklaces, but it's also just, I think it's very 70s to me. It looks like an art piece, um, oops. and just fun. I'll be doing something creative with that. I just love it. Blue skies, right? And then the two little kitty pins, which these I normally don't go for because these are more common. This is typically what I would pass up in a thrift store. Things like this that you find in the thrift store are the things that I usually do pass up on and I feel like I can do something fun with them since they are a pair um, that does elevate them a bit. So, and they're very 50s, right? I, I have a thing for cats. So, and then here is the thing that was a no-brainer. This is a Vermeil uh, Jade and look at the way it lays can you see that 
it's a nice piece. It's not marked or I haven't found a marking yet and it doesn't have a clasp. It's just an over the head, um, but it's very nice. And then there's some, uh, a little bit of rose quartz as an accent. So I like this and I will be putting it up for sale. And that is, um, before I get too attached to it, a big part of my process is that I, I have to decide to sell it fast and hopefully sell it fast before I get too attached to it because this is very of the moment right now. I'm working on a free people video and they were selling jewelry like this in the free people catalog. So on to the next. I almost forgot. I wanted to talk about why I didn't get what I didn't get. So the freshwater pearl pin, that dome, that was also to me kind of common. And, uh, you know, I really try and stay away from things like that as a collector first with the kind of collection that I have if it doesn't add something uh, significant to my collection I'll pass it up and I just felt like that was filler you know like for an online shop and I really don't do that and then the other thing was that Kramer necklace that gold um, necklace with the kind of like ribbon of the crystals running through it that looked like it was in really good shape. The gold was in really good shape. It was a signed Kramer. It was really nice, but some of the stones were on their way out and I don't do projects anymore. I've learned the hard way, unless it's like an Eisenberg where I can get a stone replaced. I am not doing projects anymore. I just don't have the space for it. So that's why I turned those down. Okay, you're gonna take my temperature? Yeah, let's just cover it for a second. <laughs> I would, if I had seen that, I would have bought it. Yeah. And it's half off all clothes today. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Sam. Let's do a quick scan. These cases are so much less scratched. Yeah. Yeah, I just had a friend that I lost mm. earlier. And she was in Oops. hospice, you know, and her nephews, but. Um, That's a pearl, a pearl yeah. trembler, familiar fur clip. Looks like it's in terrible condition. Let's have a look. Can I see something here? Yeah, maybe it's because she has somebody on. I'm videotaping it now. I just want to see that one pin. This? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, there is different. Well, aren't you fancy with your black gloves? Yeah, this is. Can I put these up here for now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so here it is. I'm thinking that this is a good illustration of what I pass on. The stones aren't even really savable. I mean, there's some squares there for parts, but it's $10. I don't know. The hind is nice. I don't think so. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. These are gorgeous. These are handmade riding boots. These are next to it. There's a lot. These are great too. Somebody here. Somebody likes shoes. Oh. Prada. Mm. These are a good school, but I never liked them. Okay, I got the boots. And I got them to share, I guess, because of you guys now. Because I've always wanted these in my size. Look at that spool heel. Can you see that? That with that like Edwardian aesthetic, but they're over the knee, which is the kind of boot that I wear the most. And they're just infinitely wearable. If anybody's a six and a half, let me know. And then I am in love with this beautiful blouse. This is incredible. It zippers in the back. It's in mint condition. This, look at that shape. Look at the pleats. Look at the little 
the puff shoulder, they put a cigarette in there like they do in Chanel. And then let's see, look at the shape of that sleeve. Can you see that? And the color works and beige for me is difficult. And then I did end up getting this one also. Uh, the fabric's great and it's just, you know, the label says cabbie, like who cares, you know, just another cabbie, but someone completely reworked this. This is all taken in on the sides. I realized as I was looking at it, I was trying to check the fabric. And then the way that this comes down onto the side like that, this is someone's creation. So I wanna try it. And I'm going back to the office and I will try it now. Let's pray that that blouse fits. If you're evil, you will be praying it doesn't fit. So I'll be putting it on the website. I'm going to start a website category. I have right now from the collection for the jewelry and then I'm gonna have from the source closet because I actually am a source closet. I have worked on a lot of, um, I've been a source for a lot of projects, movies, theater, television, names you would recognize. So. I'm going to start selling stuff from the source closet and hopefully I'll get to keep that one. I'm going to go try it on now.